Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Today we are reviewing the long-awaited SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019 figurine. This figure was carefully sculpted and engineered by famous Japanese artist Yuji Sakai, and it will burn about $62 out of your pocket, so yeah, you should probably save up to get this one. Let's take a look at this figure to see whether or not it's worth adding into your col um, I mean... Let's take a look at this figure to see whether or not it can be crowned as the king of your collection. Let me just dive straight in and say that the sculpt is perfect. It looks just like the Godzilla that was seen in the film, and I don't think there's any figure that replicates it better. Each dorsal plate has been sculpted perfectly. It looks just like it did in the movie with the 1954 Godzilla plates, but as you know, nothing is perfect. The neck... The way it was engineered, it kind of gave it a turtleneck Godzilla look, but I can get past that. The legs and feet have been sculpted to give that muscular, beefy-looking Godzilla 2019 look, and those toes are finally spread apart, unlike the 2014 Godzilla. Each segment of Godzilla's neck has been carefully sculpted with his gills, and then moving down, you can see his chest has also been accurately sculpted. Godzilla's paint is probably a 5 out of 10. Now, I know that he's a matte color in the movie, but still, they could have done at least some minor dry brushing to bring out some of the detail in the sculpt. That would have really enhanced the figure. Is that the ice cream truck? <laughs> Sorry for the minor distraction, but Godzilla's mouth is a tomato red color with a burgundy wash over it. However, his eyes are kind of a minor setback. One's looking forward, one's looking sideways. Kind of gives him a derpzilla look. Before we get into Godzilla's articulation, let's take a look at some of the accessories. So the first one is this repackage of the 2014 Spitfire Godzilla Atomic Breath, but I can accept that it's a repackage because it looks awesome. It's been repainted with an ocean blue sort of color instead of the teal look of the previous release. And it also has a silver, a beautiful looking silver dry brush over it. I think it's dry brush. I'm not sure. Dry brush. Dry brush and it kind of gives it a silver look. And then we have this atomic breath attachment piece, which is a replacement jaw. Inserting the replacement jaw is pretty easy. All you gotta do is carefully remove the default jaw and then, um, okay, this might take a while. All right, got the replacement jaw on. Now all I have to do is just place it on the head. Kind of looks like he's puking and icy. Then all you have to do is place the atomic breath into the jaw piece and then you can recreate the iconic scene from the movie where he's shooting his atomic breath into the sky which looks awesome. At last, let's take a look at his articulation. So his neck can move really far up. It kind of makes me cringe a little, but again, it's to cre recreate the scene from the movie where he's shooting the atomic breath into the sky. And then his jaw can open pretty wide. It's on a ball joint so we can swivel. Oh, it feels a little loose there and, um, oh no. There's some very clever engineering in the neck, so when you move the head up, there's actually a sleeve that peeks over the articulation, so it kind of hides it, which is very, very cool. He can look down just a little bit, and then he could look to the right or to the left, but you have to be a little careful doing that, otherwise, um, his head falls off. He has an upper chest crunch, a minor one, and then he has a very, very big lower chest crunch. And then his arms can spin 360 degrees, but I will not do that as that will probably break them. And then his elbows can twist because they're, they're on a hinge joint, I think, or on a ball joint, I'm not sure. And then his wrist is also on a ball joint. His whole leg can spin about 360 degrees. And then there's a hinge joint on his knee so it can swivel and it can also move about back that much and um, forward this much so we can make it straight and then his um, feet can tilt and swivel. Finally, we have Godzilla's very long and super articulated tail. This is probably my favorite part about the figure as far as the articulation goes. I mean, it seems to hold its position even under hot lights. I tested. However, straight out of the box, it is kind of stiff, so you probably have to blow it with a hair dryer and then you'll be good to go. For an idea of scale, he stands at about seven inches tall. And um, here he is next to the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Earth. They're both about the same heights, but in total mass, Godzilla Earth is still bigger, both in the movie and as a figure. That concludes the review of the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019. This is a great figure for any collector all around the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next Antonio Zilla video.